What's up, people? It's your boy Jatwa, and I'm here today in Kerbal Space Program. Now, what you're seeing here is not your normal aircraft. This is taking me quite some time to design, and I'm still not sure if the dang thing's going to work, to tell you the 100% truth, because this aircraft is a touch complex, and my last test flight ended up in complete failure. So we are going to hopefully get this thing off the ground once again, and hopefully we will be able to convert it successfully. This would be a nightmare to fly in real life. The only reason the wings are at this angle is because, well, Infernal Robotics does not want to put this bearing back to normal. It Once it goes to zero, the first time you revert it, it goes to this configuration. It does not want to revert back to true zero. That's okay. I'm tired of fighting it, and I have just dubbed this thing the Dragonfly, even though it does not clearly fly like a dragonfly. So let's see what happens. Let's see. First things first, we need to rotate our hinge upwards because we don't fly like this. Um, make sure my thrust is up. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Alright, so that's our first configuration. And you'll see here we are actually going to VTOL. So let's get our rotate speed. Our rotational speed needs to go higher. So we're going to go to 50 RPMs. Now 505, that would cause us death. Okay, 50 RPMs. We're going to kick up our engine, but we're going to leave it dead for right now. And now we're gonna get Jeb. Jeb, are you okay, buddy? You okay, buddy? Okay, you're good back there. All right, now we're gonna rotate. Uh, it's the scariest part. All right, here we go, rotating. A little upward flex gonna help us out. It's gonna help us out. Kick up our engines a bit. Flatten this out. Oh god, 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 Okay, okay, we got a little closer that time. And now let's rotate. Alright, we're off the ground. Kicking up our engines. Engines to full. Leveling out our wings. Oh god, no 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 not that not that not that's that's not what we want to do. Okay. Okay. I was a little better. Not what we wanted. <laughs> Okay, we got a little closer that time. A little closer. Okay, so Jeb's been repositioned because he likes to attack ears. So, we can't have that. So, let's see if we can do this. Okay, so first thing we need to do is keep an eye on our electrical charge. We didn't have enough electrical charge going on last time. And now we need to pull this back up and let's quick save. Rotate our hinges. Electrical charge looks good. And uh, now what you're seeing here is there's dual rototrons here. The first one rotates us flat. The second one gives us a little bit of angle. That's so I can adjust the angle of all four separately. And then, so lift, and then that gives us a little angle. So when we spin, we can catch some lift, which gives us some air time. If you were wondering why there are double rototrons there, and these are all connected to counter-rotating bearings. So no, I don't need a tail fin. That's how I get around it, and it works beautifully. Okay, that's the explanation. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. So let's see if this works. All right, here we go. We're going to go for it. We should have enough lift. We should have enough lift, and we should have enough, um, let's go to 50 and 50. 
once again i did not adjust that we we have enough lift we have enough everything this time and it should work if we just can get flat enough so let's stop spinning stop spinning let's go straight to flight mode here ah uh, we're not flattening back out we're not flattening back out there we go there we go there we go there we go we need to convert this back <laughs> holy crap holy crap it worked <laughs> holy crap it finally works oh my god that's beautiful <laughs> What do you think, Jeb? Jeb, you okay? He's smiling. He likes it. Oh my god, it's very flippity floppity wobbly wibbly wobbly. But it works! And we are currently flying the Dragonfly C. So, wow! I am surprised. You have to have those support wings on there. Otherwise, the lift is so freaking awkward to get that uh, it just won't go right now if if i can get in front of robotics to actually flatten back out after i do this then i wouldn't have to call it the dragonfly and i don't know what i would have called it in that instance but we're gonna see if we can land this thing now because being able to do this is fine and you see we have this engine that we can reverse the weasling and we're going to actually go to reverse thrust on this and hopefully be able to uh uh, we're gonna hopefully be able to do this all right so first things first we need to reverse thrust all right reverse thrust is go we're gonna get our wheels out and now we're going to a we're going to go mode here go rotate Engine's dead. And there you go. We are... We are good. Oh, <laughs> I just have to, you know, ever so often press on this button to keep us uh, aloft. But it works. It works. I do have to adjust this so that we're gently coming down. G gently. That's not very gently. Okay. So far, so good. Oh, uh, we need to spin. We need to spin. We need to spin. We need to spin. Ooh. So far, so good. I need to turn my phone like to shut up mode. Shut up phone mode activated. Is it stable? No. Is it working? Yes. Yes. All right. We're closing in. 150. Nice and gentle on the touchdown. And boom! Yes! <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that is difficult. <laughs> so let's get ourselves back to flat here. And rotate this back down. And it is done. The flight, the experimental flight is a success, and Jeb and I are foolishly smiling our faces off. So that was awesome. I really enjoyed this aircraft. I have a bit more work to do on it, but it could work. It could work. It could work. That was a lot of fun. So if you like what you're seeing, hit that like button. Drop me in a comment. Let me know what you think. There's been a few attempts at doing stuff like this. Um... 
not exactly like this, because that would be insane, but uh, where they were trying to, uh, I think it was Korsky, I can't remember, where they were trying to use the wing as a propeller and then flatten that wing back out um, and use it as a wing. So, yes, it could work, and this actually does work. Uh, it would take a lot of power, but if you could, since I didn't want to put the engines on the, on the tips there because it would flex down, and that flex down would cause a lot of problems that I didn't feel like fighting. So, once again, awesome. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you. <laughs> and I'll catch you guys in the next one. This is your boy Jatwan. I'm out. Peace. I can't believe that guy did it for I see that a lot, don't I? <laughs>